much all my dear friends my name is Abhilash and I'm a trader next door in this video I will not be analyzing any chart rather I will be discussing on a very important topic forex prof firms forex prof firms have become very popular these days and recently I have many requests where, where people have requested me to upload a video on prof firms so I thought that it's high time to talk about prof firms or it's high time to know about prof firms in detail because we only know the good side of the forex pro funds where after paying a registration fees we get a funded account but most of us are not aware of the actual side of the pro firms so my dear friends this is not uh, any sponsored video you can see on the screen it's there will be no promotion there is no link in the description the only link in the description will be the link of the hindi channel where I will be uploading a video or my, my wife will be uploading a video within next two or three days about the same topic because there are many viewers from India and Pakistan those who want to know about the same in Hindi for them okay there will be a video very soon so my dear friends please subscribe to the Hindi channel okay if you want to know about forex problems in detail in Hindi okay so let's get started so my dear friends, these are the topics that we are going to cover today. Why we need a Forex Pro Firm, the ugly side or ugly reality of Forex Pro Firms, the withdrawal issues or why do we face withdrawal issues in Forex Pro Firms, is it legal to trade in Forex Pro Firms in India and what is the solution. But before I begin, I would like to request or I have a request to every one of you that please share the video if possible or please save the video if possible. Because there is a very high chance that there, there will be complaints from these companies to YouTube and YouTube may take down the video very soon. Okay. So if video YouTube takes down the video, then obviously the video will not will no longer be available online. So please share the video and spread the knowledge. Okay. So that people can know the good side and the ugly side of the problems. So at first let's deal with the first question that is why we need a forex pro firm so to answer these questions let's divide traders into two categories first traders without money traders without let's say without capital okay not money doesn't sound nice without capital and traders with capital as you guys already know that okay when i started my trading journey i only had 500 dollars that also i lost and my capital was around 100 dollar 200 dollars so traders would have capital less than thousand dollars okay at first let's talk about you see there are millions of traders around the world who are trading with a capital of like hundred dollars two hundred dollars five hundred dollars isn't it and what is our monthly target? We try to make $100 out of $100. We are trying to make $500 out of $500. So the number is not very big. Okay, if you're trying to make $500 per month, okay, the number is very small. Okay, but if we think in terms of percentage, how much you are trying to make? You are trying to make 100%. Sometimes you are trying to make 80%. Sometimes you are trying to make 200%, 300%. So the number $100, $200 may not be very big, but when we think in terms of percentage, it's huge. And this is one of the main reasons why most of the retail traders lose money in the market because of unrealistic expectations. This is a very big topic. I also cover this in my workshop also. That whenever we talk about why traders lose money in the market, we talk about um, le uh, lack of knowledge okay uh, poor risk management lack of discipline etc etc okay but unrealistic expectation from the market is another huge reason why many retail traders rather millions of retail traders lose money from the market because we don't know how much we should be expecting from the market mark see trading is one of the highest rewarding profession in the world but trading is not magic if you if you have made hundred dollar or hundred percent last month that doesn't mean that you can make another hundred percent this month okay so most of us lose money because of unrealistic expectations from the market so how much we should expect we should expect 
five to ten percent a month if you can make five to ten percent a month it's more than enough more than enough for, for you to survive in the market but for that okay for that if you try to make 10% out of $100 or $500, okay, obviously you will never be happy with $50 a month. Obviously, you will never be happy with $50, $20 a month. So if you get an access to $10,000 and if you make only 10%, then still you are making $1,000. The company takes a cut of 20%, so still you get a payout of $800. So previously you were making $500 by taking huge risk okay and you were uh, taking a huge risk with $500 making 100% return and here okay you are trading with peace of mind and you have only made 10% and still you made how much you made $800 so there is a huge difference so whenever you trade with realistic expectations for the market okay you know how to survive in the game because you no longer take silly trades you are only focusing on quality trades so traders who do not have capital right now for them profirm is one of the best solution okay to get skill and earn money from the market because profirm can really change your game if you consider my scenario then yes profirm has changed my life too okay i have uh, profirm has brought a great stability uh, in my life that I cannot deny. Okay, so Profirm is a very good option for traders who do not have capital because if you do not have capital, nothing to worry. Okay, you just need to get yourself skilled. Okay, now the question comes capital. Okay, why traders with capital need Profirms? Because, yes, there is a need also because if you have capital, okay, most of the traders also struggle with consistency in some days you are making money in some days you are not making money and why the lack of consistency okay lack of consistency is going on because of lack of discipline what lack of discipline because we are trading with our own money nobody is okay uh, there to tell us to restrict us to uh, <laughs> so we can do whatever we want for example we know it very well that stop loss is very important in trading but most of the time we do not like to use stop loss we feel that okay i have a mental stop loss okay if market comes to this level i will exit but when the time comes we do not exit isn't it why this seven because of lack of discipline but if you trade through a pro firm okay obviously there will be rules and regulations for example, 5% daily drawdown. This is the most uh, common rule, okay, people hate. 5% <laughs> daily drawdown. So, But personally, I believe that you, if you are not comfortable with 5% daily drawdown or if you are unable to manage 5% daily drawdown, there is a high chance that you will be blowing your capital very, very soon. Because if you talk to any professional trader also, you will hear them okay taking a risk of one person 1.5 percent on the trade and he were and here you are not comfortable with five percent daily drawdown so if you are unable to manage five percent daily drawdown on a pro firm then obviously you should avoid trading through your own capital because whenever you'll trade you will blow your account so to get yourself disciplined you need to trade through a pro firm once you're disciplined enough once your emotions are under your control then you can go back to your capital again but if you keep on trading with your own money without lack of discipline then obviously okay, there's in no time okay you will blow out everything so pro firm is also a very great option for people who have capital but they are suffering not suffering okay they are facing the problem of lack of discipline so whether you have capital or you do not have capital prof firms can be a very good option ah, now let's discuss about the most controversial part here ugly reality of forex prof firms my dear friends i will not name any particular company here because i do not want to receive any legal notice or youtube to take down the video i will just share the information and you need to act accordingly to save yourself okay so be uh, i will start with my journey here okay the first i came to know about pro firms in the year 2019 and my first cap um, pro firm was audacity capital okay 
Audacity Capital. And my second pro form was 5 ERS. 5 ERS, uh, my experience with Audacity and 5 ERS both were very good, but the only problem that I faced was the leverage was very low at that time. Audacity's leverage was 1 is to 30 and 5 ERS leverage was 1 is to 10. Because of low leverage, okay, we were not making that money and moreover, there was a monthly fees on Audacity Capital, around 200 pounds, I guess. So because of which we discontinued after some time and after um, some time my forex fund okay my forex fund came around 2020 or 2021 okay and it became very popular FT, ftmo was also available okay but we i did not go to ftmo okay my first company was audacity capital and then five years then i started trading uh, with my forex fund after 2020 2021 so things were going pretty well because my forex one uh, fund was giving a leverage of one is to hundred and it was a dream right my forex fund or mff became very popular in no time then i had a friend in italy okay yes. <clears throat> he told me one day that avilash okay the pro firms okay they are not very genuine okay at first i was a little bit confused but he started telling me about the dark side of the prof firms because he used to work on a prof firm. I will not name the prof firm here, but he used to be an employee of a prof firm. So he knew the ins in and out of the company. So he told me that the companies pay from the registration fees. Okay. The companies pay from the registration fees of the traders means whenever we go to a pro firm and we want a capital we sign up by paying a fees isn't it so the companies pay the profit to the traders from the registration fees of the clients how they are paying see 90 percent traders they fail to pass 90 percent traders fail to pass so the profit generated from the registration fees okay is used to pay the traders who make profit okay so in short whatever account we receive after passing the evaluation or the test those accounts are not real earlier they used to tell us that okay the amount that we are receiving in our uh, as real accounts okay were real we used to think it, uh, it to be the real money but it was not real money it was a demo account and the profit the profit percentage that we were receiving from the real uh, account was from the registration fees of the failed traders okay so this is what my friend uh, told me okay so i was quite shocked first okay but later okay later on uh, i <clears throat> did some research and found the information to be legit and true and obviously after a few years when the uh, mff okay the mff incident became popular mff website was down okay so it became clear to all of us that most of the pro firm companies okay they are not giving real account to the traders rather they are paying from the registration fees from the uh, failed traders okay so whatever account that we were receiving were not genuine or they, um, real account okay they were just giving us demo accounts in her by calling it as real account so many of you must be thinking that avilash okay if i am receiving money then what is wrong here okay the problem is not about getting paid the problem is that okay after working hard for 10 days 20 days okay if you're not getting paid and company is not responding then obviously okay you will be very very angry and this is the main problem or the real dark side of the forex pro firms for example for example there is a company let's say okay let's say uh okay abhi pro firm okay there is a company name is abhi pro firm and abhi pro firm does a lot of uh, social media promotion and this month abhi pro firm has received registration uh, of many traders 
and in number let's assume that we have um, made forty thousand dollars from the registration fees of the traders okay now we have given demo accounts okay and obviously 90 percent traders lost money and now let's assume that the 10 percent traders made around ten thousand dollars so it is my duty to pay the uh, profit to the 10 percent traders who were profitable who made money isn't it so after paying ten thousand dollars to my 10 percent traders okay i'm left with thirty thousand dollars so thirty thousand dollar is the profit of the company isn't it now let's assume that a trader comes okay okay and avilash okay and he suddenly he made some good money and he asked for a withdrawal of fifteen thousand dollars earlier the profit of the company was thirty thousand dollar but suddenly because of one person the profit of the company has reduced by fifteen thousand and now company's profit is only fifteen thousand because of this trader then obviously the company will try to blow the account of this trader because company had to pay fifteen thousand dollars to him and not only one trader there are lots of traders in every company okay who okay who do well okay and whenever they ask for payout the company doesn't like to give them payouts sometimes they get their payouts okay but company makes sure that we will not give payout to this uh, trader for the second time because they are taking a huge chunk of our profit so in most of the cases traders like avilas do not get paid okay by the second time or the company will try its best to blow their account okay maybe he will see some unexpected spikes in the market suddenly okay there will be a drop in his account and they will say that you have breached the account or they will say that there was a problem with your ip maybe you have given the account to somebody else okay or if they do not get any reason okay they will just call it as suspicious activities in last one year my dear friends in last one year i have lost around eight forex prof firms okay around eight prof firms and most of the prof firms okay they could not give me any proper reason did i fail no okay most of the prof firms they just told me that suspicious activities some okay um, <laughs> uh, one company told me that okay i have given my account to somebody else the ip change so as a result of which okay they are banning my account etc etc okay so i have learned my lesson okay do i still trade with prof firms yes i do okay but i uh, but i am very careful these days okay so if you are thinking that uh, forex prof firms are the best solution they are the ultimate solution then no okay if you are planning to make a uh, planning to make big money from forex prof firms okay this is not going to happen because this is not my case okay this is happening to hundreds and thousands of people on each and every day there are lots of companies okay there are lots of companies <clears throat> uh, who give a lot of discounts okay just to attract clients okay because these companies know it very well that if the, the if the guy passes also okay i will i will not be giving him payouts okay so they can give a lots of discounts so my dear friends please be careful okay uh, before applying to any prof firm okay just go to google and check their reviews first because these days there are lots of companies okay they are like mushrooms okay they are everywhere so you need to check the company's reputation first and secondly what you need to check is just go to the website of the company go to the faq section means frequently asked questions okay and check whether they are giving you real money or virtual money virtual money because 99 percent companies give virtual money means whatever account you receive after passing the evaluation is not real you get a demo account okay 
you get a demo account it means that the company will be paying you from the registration fees of the traders so if you make a big money that obviously company will not like it and company will try its best to ban your account very soon and if the company has not mentioned on the website just go to the chat support okay almost every company have their own chat support and just ask the executive whether you are giving us real account or virtual account okay if her, if they are saying that they are giving virtual accounts then you need to be careful with your payouts and real account okay real account uh, as i said okay I only know one company, okay, I only know one company that gives a real account and that is 5 ERS. Do not consider it to be a promotion of 5 ERS, okay, but I, I know it very well after making this video. If I do not say any name, okay, then obviously I will be receiving hundreds of questions. So if you, 5 ERS is the only company, okay, who uh, is still saying that they are giving us real money. I don't know whether it is true or not, but I have asked them many times on their website also okay they have mentioned that they are giving real money so if you are looking for any solution five years can be a solution there is no link in a the description there is no referral code here the company doesn't know me okay okay i am just a normal trader of five years that's it okay many of you must be thinking about ftmo as well okay ftmo is the market leader what ftmo FTMO is a market leader. I'm not sure whether FTMO gives demo account or real account. And the reason is um, FTMO doesn't accept uh, clients from India. We are <clears throat> also, we actually, we cannot open a website of FTMO also. So I could not do my research on FTMO. So please go to the website of FTMO. Okay, if, if they have mentioned, then well and good. If they have not mentioned, just ask the customer support whether they are giving a real account or uh, demo account i think they are giving real accounts because ftmo is in business for a long time since 2014 okay so my dear friends i have not tried all the pro firms so obviously i will not be able to tell you about all the pro firms but in uh, from my experience i have seen that around nine most uh, most of the companies 99 percent of the companies provide virtual accounts so there's a high chance that if you make consistent profit in pro firms you will not get it okay they will not get it and do not if you score very big then obviously okay they will not like it and they will ban your account one company okay one company uh, ban okay six of us okay in our group six of us total 10 accounts on one single night okay we all have received the same email that because of suspicious activities our accounts have been banned okay. <laughs> so just go to the website and check for the information okay and if ft if you stay outside india then obviously ftmo can be a solution for you if they are giving real money and if you're staying in india then five years can be a solution for you and person i have seen is that uh, the new companies okay the new companies that have come in last one or two years okay almost all of them are just giving demo or virtual accounts and if you make a good money like uh, let's say five thousand dollar ten thousand dollar profit then obviously they are not giving you profit okay and my dear friends let's uh, discuss about the third question withdrawal issues of forex pro firms on the second question or the second part we have already discussed about the withdrawal issues or why the companies do not like to pay us if we make good money but still withdrawal is is the soft corner so i thought that we should talk uh, about withdrawal separately so again i will be repeating the same stuff here my dear friends okay if you are trading uh, in a company where the company is giving us virtual accounts then there's a high chance that the company will not like to give you regular payouts or big payouts so what you need to do is go to the company okay go to the company's website go to the faq section if you do not find it go to the chat support and ask whether they are giving real account or virtual account okay if you're getting a real or virtual account sorry if you're getting a real account then nothing to worry but if your company is giving you a virtual account after the payout then yes it's a matter of concern okay so you need to do the homework now the second thing is 
you also need to check the reputation of the companies because there are certain companies okay who are giving you three four payouts also okay three four payouts also um even if they are giving you even if they have given you virtual account so the company's reputation is also very very important just go to google to go to trustpilot.com and check the reputation of the company and as i said okay try to avoid new companies that have been a form or that have come up in the last two or three years because new companies okay they are not very good they are in the business only to earn money from the registration fees of the traders okay they do not like to pay the clients so as a result whenever they see the clients are making good money they simply find a reason to block the account okay my dear brothers and sisters from india you must be waiting for this question whether it is legal to trade in forex pro firms from india and the answer is no we believe that we are not violating fema here because we are not sending money outside india okay so how are we violating fema but again we are back to square one whatever money we receive from the pro firms can we show on income tax return no we cannot show it obviously your ca will be showing this under online income freelance or something else so how can you call it as a legal source of income yes you are not violating fema so you should not worry about uh, severe punishments um, from reserve bank of india or the government but yes you cannot consider to be uh, to, uh, it to be a legal income as well because you will not be able to show it in your income tax returns okay but yes if you are trading in forex pro firms and if your chartered accountant or ca is handling it then obviously you have nothing to worry okay? because you are not sending money outside india whatever money you are receiving okay it's good enough and your ca will be able to show it cool now let's talk about the solution so whether you stay in india or outside india doesn't matter if you do not have capital right now then obviously forex pro firms are the best solution for you but choosing a good pro firm is also very very important so as i already said that i will not recommend any pro firm here because many of you start thinking that okay, this is an indirect promotion or something like that no just go to the website of the company and just check whether they are giving you real account or virtual account try to go with a company who is giving a real account and try to go with older companies who are in the business for more than five years okay there are many uk based companies or europe based companies who are in the business for a long time but not very popular the second thing is a reputation go to google okay uh, check their reviews okay just see whether they are giving uh, regular payouts and all that and the customer support is also very very important so check the reviews and the reputation of the company this is how you'll be able to figure out now the solution so traders who do not have capital right now obviously forex pro firms is the best solution for you but do not consider it to be as a permanent solution no do not consider it to be as the permanent solution okay because they cannot be the permanent solution right now your sole aim should be to get skill first so that you can get payouts regular payouts from the company and you can accumulate your own capital for example okay for example if you get a payout of fifteen hundred dollars okay fifteen hundred dollars and if you start saving thousand dollars okay if you start saving thousand dollars per month then in 10 months how much you have you have ten thousand dollars so if the pro firm bans you or the company is no longer in service then obviously you don't need to be worried because you have ten thousand dollars in your savings that you can use it as your capital so do not consider pro firms to be the permanent solution rather try to build your own capital with the help of pro firms and those who already have capital okay your problem is solved but yes you can use the pro firms to get access to bigger capital like fifty thousand dollar or one lakh dollar and most importantly use the pro firms to get yourself skilled okay 
now those who are already trading with many companies who are giving virtual accounts for them okay i have a very important uh, message okay this is i'm giving you from my own experience because i have been using forex profile for a long time for example my forex fund i use it for a long time i use true forex fund i have used the funded trader many programs okay many programs for a long time okay recently they have all banned me that's a different thing okay for example true forex fund okay the, the company is no longer in service okay that's why I, i'm taking the name here true forex fund banned me because one day i forgot to exit from my trade and i made 12 percent on a single day and the company was uh, giving virtual accounts so 12 percent on a single day was a big trade for them so they just call it as a suspicious trade and they just ban my account okay anyways leave it so if you are already uh, trading with a company like true forex fund or who is giving who is giving virtual accounts then your main mantra should be to avoid big payouts this is how i survive okay to avoid big payouts do not go for big payouts like five thousand dollar ten thousand dollars because see whatever my friend told me okay i'm just sharing here see these companies okay these companies make a list for example they have top traders okay top traders who are taking the big camp big payouts and they mark them as red means the company tries its best to blow their account okay then they have mid traders and they have low traders so always try to be on the low trader profile means try to keep your payouts payouts less than 2500 and if possible do not go for regular payouts okay so try to keep your payout below 2500 i always kept my payouts around 1500 dollar 1100 dollar 900 dollar okay so i was never on their radar because of which i could survive for a long time okay but if you start withdrawing heavy amounts then obviously the company will not like it because you are taking a huge chunk from their profit and company will ban your account very soon okay so my dear friends your main mantra should be to take small payouts so that you do not get under the radar of the company okay and if you're planning to take a big account like fifty thousand dollar account hundred thousand dollar account pachas thousand dollar account eight lakh dollar account if you're planning to take it try avoid at any cost because if you take a big account then obviously your payout will also be big and no this is not the right thing so what you can do is for example you have a plan to take a one lakh dollar account or hundred thousand dollar account so uh, so instead of taking one big account okay try to take four accounts of twenty thousand dollars what four accounts of twenty thousand dollars sorry my maths is way 20 okay five accounts of twenty twenty thousand dollars or four accounts of twenty five thousand dollars okay so you need to take five accounts of twenty thousand dollars and in different companies in different companies for example you have uh, you have received a payout of let's say uh, fifteen hundred dollar from this company this month so next month okay next month try to take a payout of fifty dollar hundred dollar or no payout at all next month try to take a payout from this company this company or this company if you have if you have the skill to run all the uh, three or, or two or three companies um, at once you can go for it but do not try to take regular payouts from these companies if you take payouts every month like thousand dollar fifteen hundred dollar two thousand dollar then obviously you will be under their radar again and they will be trying to blow your account very very soon but if you do not have capital then you obviously you have no other choice but to use your brain use uh, <clears throat> this type of tricks so that you can accumulate your capital very soon from the profits of these payouts so again i'm repeating my dear friends so instead of going for a big account, you should divide uh, it into four to five accounts in different companies because on same company, it is not possible uh, to have multiple accounts and same IP also, it will not work. So 
try to open multiple accounts in different companies and do not try to take regular monthly payouts if your payout is big enough if it is small enough like 100 200 then it is okay but if you're going going for any payout above one thousand dollars try to avoid it okay and if you are only trading in one prof firm okay try to trade on it at least two or three prof firms so that okay you can avoid this problem and secondly do not go for big payouts like five thousand dollar ten thousand dollars because maximum I will, I will not say no company maximum companies or most of the companies do not like to pay their um, profitable traders that is a harsh reality so try to uh, to avoid all these problems okay try to go for a small payouts try to keep it below two thousand five hundred or two thousand dollars okay this is how i survive okay so after listening to me my dear friends do not be disheartened but yes, it is very important for you to know the dark side of the um, industry as well. Okay, so I consider it as my duty to tell you the truth. That's why I made this video. So that you can understand that problems are not the permanent solution for us. We need to be dependent on ourselves. For that, we need to use our own capital and money is something very personal. If someone doesn't have money, then obviously we cannot force it. Okay, So obviously, you need to use your skills to accumulate the capital and profums can be the best solution. Okay, profums, I personally liked. I have been using profums for a long time. Still, I do. Okay, but yes, we I know it very well. Okay, what is the good side, the bad side and the ugly side? So now you also know the good side, the bad side and the ugly side. Thank you so much, my dear friends. Bye-bye. Take care.